Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. You may have noticed that the snow has returned. We have a couple of cool days coming up and then I think it warms up a little more. Today I'm going to be repotting my nightshade vine. I started this vine from a cutting four years ago and it's been developing really nicely. It's had its setbacks. I've had branches die off and it's not the easiest plant to bonsai, but it's still alive four years later and looking better each year. Last summer, I kind of had slow growth on this tree and I'm not sure if it's the size of the pot. So it, I'll be interested to see if it's root bound in this pot, see what the roots look like. If it does look like it's you know fully root bound, I may have to put it in a larger pot. Before I begin the repotting, I'll show you some new gifts that I got. We met at uh, Tropical Expressions yesterday. Uh, there was Blue Jay Bonsai, Bonsai Jay, Vince. We met there, we looked at all the trees. It was uh, a nice day to catch up. And uh, Jay brought me some gifts, so I'll show you those. And I got some gifts from Tom in the mail. Tom, or St. Thomas from Chicago, as Blue Jay Bonsai calls him, sent me a geranium. And it's kind of a special geranium, I believe. I'll have to check in with Tom on the exact species, but you can see it has these orangey red flowers. So thank you very much, Tom. That's awesome. I'll do my best to grow it into a bonsai. Tom sent me some thimbles in the mail. He started a thimble bonsai challenge on his channel, Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors, to grow little miniature trees in these thimbles. So that'll be quite a challenge. I'll, uh, I'm looking forward to that, planting up these four thimbles with little tiny miniature trees. I also got a little succulent plant. I think this is maybe string of pearls might be the common name. I'm not sure what it is, but Blue Jay Bones, I was thinking it might be a nice little succulent to grow in one of the thimbles. So I'll give that a try. That should uh, work out quite nicely, I think. The last new item is a pot made in Quebec by Canadian potter Claude Savard. And he says, merci, thanks. So these are stoneware pots. They're very frost resistant. I'll leave a link to his website in the description below the video. And these are beautiful pots, like just absolutely beautiful. So I'm looking forward to getting a tree planted in that. So thanks very much, Cloud. It was really nice seeing the gang again yesterday at Tropical Expressions. I'll show you a quick clip of that. Here we are at Tropical Expressions with it's Jay from Blue Jay Bonsai. Hello, everybody. And Vince. Vince has got his hands Which full. One? Which one? <laughs> ah, Which one? Oh, that's a choices. tough choice. Tough choice. I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and here's Jay from Bonsai Hello. Jay. There's too many choices. Too many. This is the bargain table. This is what we're looking at. So, yeah, we always go to the bargain table first and look at the trees here. So this is a look at the greenhouse. All these plants here are all kind of pre-bonsai or bonsai and there's a bit of everything here it's just amazing look at all these junipers it's just amazing yeah so we're just looking through all the trees right now checking out all the unique species they have there's almost everything in here it's amazing i shouldn't be here And now on this cold wintry day, it's time to repot my nightshade vine. Here is a look at the vine. You can see it has some berries up top. They stayed on all winter long. The trunk is getting, you know, a lot of character on it. 
It's getting a bit of a flare at the root base. Yeah, so I'm really happy with the development of this nightshade vine so far, and I hope to develop it far into the future. My first step will be to get the nightshade out of the pot. So, I'll push up from the drainage hole on the bottom, and out it comes. Beautiful pot, this one. So let's have a look at the root base. You can see it has grown lots of roots. So I don't think it's like totally pot bound, but it certainly grew well last summer. So I will get the drainage screen out of the bottom here. Like that. And I think there was two little ones each side here. Wow, lots of roots. Okay, so the drainage screens are removed. I'll reuse those, I'll clean them up. And I'll begin raking out the root system. So there was definitely, you know, room for more roots to grow. I don't think it was like two pot bound. So it's possible, you know, it just didn't like the shallow pot so much last summer. So maybe I need to put it in a slightly deeper pot to get the root system growing a little stronger. I'm hoping I can wash this root system. I don't think my bucket is frozen outside. We did get you know, below freezing last night, but I don't think it was long enough to freeze the my washing station. At least I hope not. So I'm just combing the root system out, getting rid of all the old soil so I can see what's going on with the roots. Okay, I'm going to take that try and wash the root system. You can see, you know, there's some really long roots, but most of the roots are still fairly compact. So I'll get the root system washed up and we'll come back and have a look at it. Here is a look at the root base on the tree. So some of the roots grew really long and some just sort of, ah, wasn't really strong growth on it. Now, at the surface here, you can see there's kind of a plate of roots here. These root systems generate a lot of suckers that I just keep cutting off. And it's kind of formed like a, well, a root plate here. Underneath the root system's looking quite good. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking it didn't really like this pot. I think it prefers a deeper pot, sort of more of a free draining pot rather than a landscape style pot. I'm just picking out some weed roots. Yeah. So I think I'll find a different pot for it. I'm going to do a bit of root pruning here. So I'm going to prune off these really long roots. This one comes from down here, I'll take it off right at the base because it's not growing a good radial direction. My other long roots are here. Snip them off. There's one here I can reduce back here. Let's kind of get it a bit flatter on the bottom. That's not too bad. So I will examine the surface roots and do any root correcting, but I don't think I'll be taking a whole lot off today. You can see some of the suckers that have grown up here that I'll snip back. That happens every year. I get suckers growing from the root base. Popping up in the soil and I just keep pruning them away. But it leaves quite a gnarly looking root base. It won't. 
wants to grow in a clump style, that's for sure. And it looks like each one of these suckers kind of tries to develop its own root system. So I'm going to kind of remove as many as I can. Try and get that root system to flow down into the soil. So it looks good. Cluster of suckers there. Okay. All right. I think that's well, kind of got a lot of the root system cleaned up. So now I'll come in and do a more detailed look at it or detailed pruning. Wow. Listen to that wind outside. Okay. So I'm just looking at all the roots now. So this one can be shortened. There's one here that goes a funny direction. I'll prune away that part of it. There's a weed root in here. Snip that away. Yeah, I'm just looking for roots that are going kind of an off direction. This one's sticking up a bit. I better get rid of it. And this part is sticking up also and here. Keeping my root base flowing down into the soil. I don't want it going too horizontal. So I'll take this upper part off here. This upper part off. This part curls around here. I'll take that off. Move those ones from the bottom. And I'll just clean up some of these suckers a bit more. Sticking up. Well, I think that's that's got it. You know, it's a bit of a, a lump of a root here, but that's all root in there. There's not much I can do about that. I'll just have to kind of expose it and it'll have dramatic flare at the root base. All right, so I'm going to have to find a pot for it. Um, yeah, this pot is really good, but I just feel, I think this plant would do better in a taller pot, giving it a little more drainage and room for those roots to grow down. That's my feeling, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to try it this year in a deeper pot and see how it does. This is kind of a, an experimental weed I'm working with. So we'll see how it does this year. I have got a pot here that is very, very big. You can see the root base fits in it quite nicely. It's not too big, you know, as far as surface area. 
but it's very, very deep. It's quite a large pot compared to the size of the plant. However, I think this is what the tree needs, is a deep pot like this. And I think, you know, right now the tree's bare, but when it gets all those long vines coming off of it, I think it'll thicken up and look quite nice in this pot in the future. Um, you know, maybe even by the end of summer, it'll have grown enough that it looks a little more at home in this pot. It's definitely overpotting it, but I think, I'm guessing that's what this vine needs is to grow long roots deep down into the soil to kind of uh, get that vigor back into the plant. Because last summer it just, it wasn't vigorous at all. And I think it was the shallow pot. I've got a drainage screen in the bottom of the pot, so I'll fill it up with soil about maybe halfway maybe three scoops yeah that's getting closer now as far as position in the pot um, I think I want it slightly offset this way like that I think that'll look quite nice I think that's good. I'm going to fill it in. I think the height is right. I've got the front of the tree here. Okay, I'll fill it in. Here's a look at the root system in the pot. So you can see I've moved it over to the one side. But there's certainly lots of room for the roots to grow. Now I'm just going to recheck the height in the pot. Because I had, you know, uh, quite a flare at the base, I think I can lift the tree just a little bit and show off that root flare a bit more. So I'll just lift the tree up slightly, work that soil back in under the roots. lift it out a bit more if I bury that too low I'll get a lot of roots coming off of that root plate Tree's nice and firm in there. I've got all my air pockets out. Yeah, so there is a look at the tree. That's looking good. So it is time now to give it a water. I'll rotate the tree around in the pot so you can see it from all angles. So here is my current front coming around to the right hand side to the back the left hand side and back to the front here's a look at the root base of this tree it's very very interesting I think it's got a lot of character too after the repotting, I'm quite surprised the tree doesn't look, you know, ridiculously large in the pot. I think, you know, once the foliage comes out, and in nature, these vines can extend like meters in just over the summer. So if I get the vigor back in the tree, it could grow quite large in just one year. So I'm hoping that happens. I'm hoping it uh, takes off in vigor this summer and you know develop it into a larger vine my nightshade vine is repotted i have high hopes for this tree this summer i'll keep my fingers crossed and see how it goes so that is all for today i'm nigel saunders thanks for joining me in the bonsai zone <laughs>